If I may speak... You may not. Class is in session. Can I ask... Please hold all questions till the end of the lesson. When does class start? As soon as you get to my classroom. This isn't your classroom? No. This is. So are you ready, kid? Yeah. And what are you ready for? Safety. Oh, you think the human mind is safe? Well, that's cute. is how you perform the advanced psychic ability known as Mental Connection. Cool! Ooh, sorry, could you repeat that? Sorry, kid. I warned you not to be late. I'm off to attend to some fiduciary concerns. Norma, take over for me, won't you? You can practice with some of those loose ideas. But Agent Forsyth, is it safe to leave all these thoughts out like this if you're not here? Norma, please. It takes more than a few rambunctious children to affect the mind of a trained psychonaut. Try not to fall asleep in my class. All right, Repscallion. Okay, now how do I explain mental connection extremely simply? Let me guess. We focus on an idea in someone's mind until we form a tangible connection with it. Oh, I didn't realize you were a mental connection expert. By all means, give us a demo. Professor. What the heck did you just do? I said connect with the idea, not jump inside it like a hamster ball. Sorry, old habit from the circus, I guess. Not only is cilantro delicious, it's affordable and easy to grow in a window box herb garden. What the heck is that? What? You left a slime trail. It's like he connected the two thoughts together. Oh, now you're in trouble. Hey, what's the big idea? Looks like disgust. Well, I'm sure it's not the first time Rasputin has created that thought in someone's mind. Is cilantro delicious? It's affordable and easy to grow in a window box herb garden. I know cilantro reduces the risk of digestive distress, but it tastes like soap. And honestly, I'd rather have the gas. Hey, Raz. If you can change Forsyth's opinion of cilantro, maybe you could change her mind about the casino mission. Hmm. I don't know about that. Yeah, I mean, she worries about us kids too much. It's taking years off of her life expectancy. Hmm. If you could get her not to be so worried all the time... We could all go on a real Psychonauts mission! 
Well, I don't suppose it would hurt to take a look around up there. Just see if there's any, you know, problems. Straight to the top, Raz. Of course, if you're scared, don't do it. I mean, you'll probably get kicked out of the Psychonauts for trying, but well, what the heck? What's this Connect little those nugget thoughts, of wisdom? I like those. Try not to kill her brain, Raz. Remember, it's for the good of the mission. Straight to the top, Raz. Of course, if you're scared, don't do it. I mean, you'll probably get kicked out of the Psychonauts for trying, but what the heck? Connect those thoughts, young man. Try not to kill her brain, Raz. Remember, it's for the good of the mission. Straight to the top, Raz. Of course, if you're scared, don't do it. Oh, wait. This was a terrible idea. These poor kids don't know what they're in for. I'll just have to get Sasha to give up half of his laboratory. It was hard enough getting him to give up wearing socks with sandals. Yeah, this was a bad idea. I'm going back. I don't want her to know I'm here. Need to cut out the frills in the cap. Our Lady of Restraint Neurological Hospital? I think Hollis said she was an intern here once. I always had my best ideas here. Let's just hope I don't run into Dr. Putz. Maybe trying to change her mind is a bad idea. No, wait. I think that is a bad idea. Now... Yes! No room in here for any bad ideas but my own. Speaking of, I gotta catch up to Hollis and try to change her mind about the mission. Box needs a half Here's some. I need the steamer trunk tag for this guy.
here's the hat box tag. <clears throat> I think I hear some emotional baggage nearby. I need the steamer trunk tag for this guy. Oh my god, look at the size of that kid's head! Get him to radiology, stat! You saved another life, Dr. Potts. Oh, please, I was just doing my job. I heard the technique you used was developed by your intern, Hollis Forsyth. Oh, uh, my intern? Why, <laughs> yes, yes, well, we did collaborate on that a little. The patient will make a full recovery, Dr. Potts. All thanks to you. Mm-hmm. And your brilliant intern, Hollis Forsyth. Why, uh, yes. Well, she has been a helpful assistant. I like the look of these. This brain has made amazing progress. Another life saved by the Forsyth method. The, the POTS method? POTS? It was my invention? That intern merely transcribed my dictation. Oh, uh... My apologies, Dr. Potts. In fact, I was thinking of getting rid of her. Hey, I got half a mind. Huh. I've got half a mind to look for the other half. Something tells me it's not too far away. Yep. Good luck collecting your debts after I'm dead, losers. move some funds around. I could postpone paying those bills, but not these. I went to school for medicine. How did I end up stressing about money management all day? Well, I just need to put those thoughts aside and focus on the children. Their safety is the most important thing. And it's not just because a lawsuit would bankrupt us right now. That casino mission would be good experience for them, but it's too risky. What if I let them go and the worst happens? <sighs> Need to focus. Only one unfathomable fear at a time, Forsyth. If Hollis associated risk with something more positive than death, 
it would open her up to so many more missions. I mean, life experiences. Give me your wisdom, Nugget. say this out loud, but the truth is, I really, really, really just love money. Who am I kidding? Who am I? I just remembered how dire the Psychonauts finances are. If Hollis wants to solve her money problems, she's gonna need to accept some risk. Yes, if I let those children go on that risk, sure, it's fun to take risks. But what use is it? I never say this out loud. But the truth is, I really, really, really just love money. Hmm. That's not the change I was going for. I wonder if we could cut some money by cutting cilantro from Taco Tuesday budget. I know cilantro reduces the risk of digestive distress, but it tastes like soap. And honestly, I'd rather have the gas. How can people eat a slimy fungus grown in manure? Socks with sandals. It reminds me of my favorite German college professor. It's just that socks are so absorbent. You shouldn't have them exposed when you're on the street. Interesting. But that's not going to help us go on that casino mission. <laughs> If I let those children go on that mission, they would surely die. I definitely could not handle that stressful casino mission right now. Who am I kidding? If I wasn't worried about something, I wouldn't be me. It just means I care. I think the only way to get Hollis to take us on a mission to a casino is to get her to associate risk money. I think, I think I just figured out how to solve all our money problems. Huh? <gasps>
Hey, Teach, what gives? I was in the middle of a sweet hookup there. Guess what, kids? You all did so well on your lesson. How about we give your new power a test drive out in the field? You mean we're going on the mission? For real? Isn't that dangerous? Well, you know what they say, Sam. Nothing ventured, nothing brained. I don't think that's what... Let's roll. Heck yes! Cool. All right. Sweet. Um... Woo! I'm so glad you changed your mind about the mission, Agent Foresight. I was nervous about bringing the children, but if you feel that it's safe, then it must be. It's crucial we find out what these delusionists are up to at the casino. With you handling tactical command, I'd say our probability of mission success has risen 35%. I'll take those odds. Now, how long till we reach the Lady Lectopus? We are almost there. Agent Foresight, how are you feeling? <laughs> Lucky. Well, we're here. Using a false identity, we have secured a high roller suite to use as our base of operations. Now, children, you are not to leave the suite. Like most casinos, the Lady Lactopus has a strict no psychics policy. Aww. Weak. Be happy for this chance to observe Agent Forsyth in action. Teacup, this is Shoehorn. We are nearing position one. I'm moving down the primary ventilation shaft, and Dustpan is approaching the front desk. Teacup, come in. Are you there? Hollis. Hmm? Oh, yes. Shoehorn, this is Teacup. I have you on visual. Teacup, this is Dustpan. I'm approaching position one. After you've disabled the side detectors and inhibitors, on your go-ahead, I'll approach the reception desk and distract the clerks. After they're distracted, I'll drop into the office and find the room number that belongs to this key. Just make sure to disable the main fan, because my position is close. No need to explain, agents. You do your job, and I'll do mine. Let's keep radio silent so I can concentrate. Understood. Roger that, teacup. Dustpan out. Hey, uh, maybe we should keep out of Agent Forsyth's, uh, operations theater? Something is really not right with Hollis. What did you do to her? What, me? Nothing. I just... Made her love gambling? She's fine. She just needs a little space. I cannot take my eyes off this train wreck. You are going to be in so much trouble. Rasputin, don't sneak up on me like that. Listen, do me a favor and run up to the jet, will you? I need my dowsing goggles. I left them on my seat, I think. You wanted to be on a mission. Now here's your first objective. Fetch my dowsing goggles. Okay, but hurry. Our window of opportunity is closing. All right, I'll be right back. Well, you sure you should be making drinks? Agent Forsyth is right over there. Rasputin, we're just fooling around. Lighten up. Actually, I did eat one of those pickled onions, and I think I got a little buzz off of it. Yeah, those boys are pretty ripe. I think I'd like a small tumble in the net, please. What's that? I think it's a circus drink. My parents would talk about having one at the end of our shows. What you doing, Morris? I'll tell you what I'm not doing. I'm not watching the pre-semi-final practice vote to find out who's maybe not going on to the next round of Pop Gladiators. What are you doing in there, Sam? When Agent Forsythe finally blows, this will be the only safe place. Crunchy Mouse would hit this spot. Oh, I just gave the last one of those to the previous customer. I 
I knew it. Okay, I'll give you one more chance. Ooh, a crunchy mouse would hit the- I don't see any dousing goggles anywhere. I mean, to be fair, I have no idea what they look like. I've actually never even heard of dowsing. Oh no. Agent Forsyth, where are you going? Oh no, Hollis, what did I do to you? Rasputin, is that you? Mia? Sasha? Agent Forsyth is missing, but don't worry. I'll find her. Hurry, Rasputin. We're in big trouble here. Yes! Please find Agent Forsyth right away! I don't know how long I can... Hold on! I'm on it. Did Agent Forsyth say where she was going? She just said she was going to solve all of our problems, once and for all. That's not ominous. Who says that's ominous? Nobody thinks that's ominous. Mm-hmm. I can't go into the hotel. They have anti-psychic detectors. Hollis must have some way to hide it. Alert. Weak psychic activity detected. Weak? up to her this way. I'm going to make. Hollis, wait! Mesdames et Messieurs, faites vos jours. Ladies and gentlemen, place your bets. Don't worry, Agent Forsyth. I can fix this. <laughs> Mesdames et Messieurs, rien ne va plus. Ladies and gentlemen, no more bets. different. But maybe it's not so bad? Thank <laughs> you. 
Ancient Foresight? You in here? Well, I don't like this one bit. had a spontaneous change in her worldview, unrelated to my inappropriate meddling with her thoughts. Who am I kidding? I need to find Hollis's quiet room again and break that bad mental connection I made. Uh... uh yeah, mind stepping aside, buddy? This is an emergency. No, you don't mind, or like a general no to me system. So, uh, your ghosts don't have to walk very... Oh, never mind. Everybody, deal them in stat. <laughs> Come on, live, damn you, live. Oh. Full recovery. recovery. You did it, Dr. <laughs> Potts. Call me Jack. Let's go for double or nothing. <laughs> So sorry, Doctor. Ah, oh, well, it can't be helped. Some patients are just bad luck. Yep. I don't like the look of these. Mm. Yes, the heart's salvageable, but the rest? Should we fold? No, no, let's hold the eight and the queen, and we'll pull for the inside straight.
I'll just quickly pop into Hollis's quiet place and fix this mess. High Rollers Lounge? That's not good. Oh no! Rasputin, what are you doing here? Sorry, I didn't mean to crash your hospital casino. Oh, everyone's welcome in the casino. Without gamblers, how else would we make any money? <laughs> <laughs> no, you just can't be up here because it's the High Rollers Lounge. Wait, Agent Foresight, I need to tell you. <laughs> ah! What the? Oh, phew. It's just the morgue. Huh? Yes, Rasputin? Uh, we got a patient here. Needs emergency access. Sorry, the table minimum in the High Rollers Lounge is, uh, three gazillion dollars. What? How much is a gazillion? More than you got, kid. <laughs> Open up! My patient is dying! He needs fancy drinks, stat! In my opinion, your patient needs an emergency dose of three gazillion dollars. I play? Welcome to Palinko, game of luck and skill. Can you get the patient to take her bitter pill? Skill? It looks like it's all luck. Oh, it is, but it takes skill to do it and avoid a serious head injury. Oh, how do I? Good luck. remember where I parked that thing. Yep. Careful in there. Ugh. Hey, where's her heart? Rip off. 
That machine is broken. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. The Sore Losers Club is down the hall. Wow. He looks like an injectable. But really, he's just a pill. What are you two doing here? You think we're going to let you go alone and get all the extra credit points? I'm just here to gamble. Well, stay away from this game. There's only one spot on the board that pays out, and it's totally blocked. It's like her heart is in the wrong place. Hey, I'll bet I could... Morris? Norma? Where'd they go? Don't give up, man! You'll never win by quitting! Yeah, it's all just a matter of betting on the right color. Don't listen to him, Sonny. Come talk to me if you want some true wisdom. I want another shot. Okay, I'll just need you to bend over and... No, at the game. Really? Okay. Nervous? Not really. Good, that's good. Sometimes you need to swallow your feelings to get through life. another chance. Of course. I mean, you can't lose forever, right? I mean, you can't lose forever, right? Remember, no tickling! to do with it, son. <laughs> I win with my brains. I got math on my side. A formula for <laughs> victory. Wouldn't the wisest choice be, you know, not gambling?
Sometimes the path to enlightenment is not straight and simple. Whoops. Now I'm just reinforcing their old bad thought patterns. That's not going to get me anywhere. Sometimes the path to enlightenment is not straight and simple. Whoops. Now I'm just reinforcing their old bad thought patterns. That's not going to get me anywhere. Sounds like you've got a method. The secret is you have to listen to the colors. Let the rainbow of lights lead you to the pot of gold. Uh, that doesn't sound like a smart way to make decisions to me. Why are you going that way? When I win this game, I hope there are fires. Sometimes the path to enlightenment is not straight and simple. Whoops. Now I'm just reinforcing their old bad thought patterns. That's not going to get me anywhere. <sighs> Need to cut out the frills in the cafeteria for sure. Whoops. Now I'm just reinforcing their old bad thought patterns. That's not sometimes the path there. to enlightenment is not straight and simple. The trick isn't just making decisions, but making the right one. Ah, a little judgment. There's some progress. I wish they knew that sometimes walking away is the best choice. to know when to sure. quit. That's not going to happen. The trick isn't just making decisions, but making the right one. Making mental connections in someone's mind is a profound and dangerous thing. room is a genius. <laughs> See? Tiny victories! I can work with that. Maybe you should quit while you're ahead. Who says I'm ahead? I've sucked so much money into this machine and can't just leave it all behind. Actually, I think it's important to know when to quit. Especially when playing Gruloki with your grandma. There are some misguided ideas floating around this room. I guess it's not really bad to quit, if it's the right thing to do at the moment. Moderation. Isn't that a novel concept? Moderation. Now that's the real path to break. You know what? I think the only way to win is to know when to play and when to stop. Swallowing your feelings sounds bad, but really, who wants to hear about those ugly things anyway? Even though making new connections is what got me into this mess, I think making a better one here is actually the only way out. I wonder if I could blast that from here.
you know, I think holding down all these feelings is giving me a bit of indigestion. Oh, that feels better. Now that her heart is in the right place, I should have better luck if I play the game again. 